Hello you guys, welcome to the second half of my Japan trip. We are currently on the train to Tokyo and we're going to spend about a week here. Our train just landed in Tokyo and we're eating at a ramen place right now because our Airbnb doesn't open up for another hour. Also, Jahao just landed in Tokyo so we're going to see him today too. Um, I'm excited to show you guys our Airbnb. It looks crazy in the listing. Um, all the rooms are painted these like really vibrant colors, you'll see. Here's our Airbnb. Um, we're having some troubles getting inside though. Look at this area, it's pretty cool. That's cool. It's gonna be nice at night when those lights are on. Okay, we found the actual Airbnb. I think we walked into someone's house on accident. These. Okay, so here is the Airbnb. So this is like a little living room area. It's very small, but it looks like it'll be fun. Now let's go see the rooms. Here's the kitchen. Okay. Oh, up here is where the rooms are. I guess this is where Chris wants to stay. He put his stuff here. Just the, the blue room. Oh my god, look at all this. All this um, Studio Ghibli stuff, this Totoro stuff. Now we're going up the next flight of stairs. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. It's the orange room. Hi. 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 <laughs> I made it. It's so hot. I know, it's so, so hot. We'll give you a tour. <laughs> okay, who is upstairs? I'm so sleepy, I'm so dirty. It's okay. We all are. Look at your room. So Jahao is doing a flower installation for the brand Bonnie Clyde because they're having a pop-up in Harajuku. And right now we're going to check out the store so Jahao has an idea of what flowers to buy. Yeah, we just got out of the subway system. And are we in Shibuya? We are in Harajuku. Oh, okay. we're in Harajuku right now. And we're going to the store. The store called Great G8. G8? I think it looks yeah, G number 8. Eight. Okay. No, great. Oh, great. So G R eight? No, just G R eight. Oh yes, yes, yeah. you're right. <laughs> I was like, what's gate? <laughs> I spelled it wrong. But that they said the all the famous like Japanese actor or influencers were shop there. So. The store is super cool. It's pretty much all designer brands like Balenciaga and other stuff like that. And apparently this store, Great, is well known in Japan. So it's something good that Jahao can add to his portfolio. Jahao is talking with the owner of Bonnie Clyde and the store manager to figure out a plan for tomorrow. And then we hung out in Harajuku for a bit and went home. And now it's the next morning and we are going to the Oda flower market to get flowers for the pop-up. It's this really large flower market where a bunch of different sellers come together to sell flowers, plants, and even hold auctions. Yeah. It's a cicada show. It's a, it's supposed to be good for you if you drink with water. Oh, there's more, one more. Oh, two more. Oh, oh my god, ew, freaky. Ooh. There's yeah. so many, there's more the on the one, other side too. One, like they're Chinese herb medicine. So we're walking around the flower market and we realize that it's pretty dead in here. There aren't many sellers or buyers and we learned they open on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But we are here on a Tuesday. Yeah. Luckily, two shops are open and Jahao is still able to get everything oh. he needs. I think today they're preparing their shops and receiving flower deliveries for tomorrow. Um, but even though like we're not here on the right day, it's still pretty cool to see the behind the scenes and how extremely organized everything is. Yeah, we finished getting the flowers, now we're gonna go back to the Airbnb. Jahao has to like prepare his flowers and stuff for the shop. Are you going today to the shop? Yeah, after. Uh, oh, at night? Yeah, 7.30. Now we're going to the shop to set up Jahao's flower installation for the pop-up. Jahao has this really cool idea of hanging these long orchid roots underneath the flower to create this kind of ghostly look which fits in with the theme of the pop-up. 
And then here's our friend Mila arranging the glasses for display. We stayed up late to set up, but it was worth it because it all came together and ended up looking pretty cool. And it was really fun to be part of this and help out. I enjoyed being able to participate in something on my trip that wasn't necessarily touristy. We're ordering on a little pad. That's nice. Look at this much. So many different things here. It's a very regional corn soup. Oh, I had corn soup recently. That was good. Denny's cats. So cute. Got the porridge. Got the French toast. Don't really know what this stuff is, but it looks good. We're going to a temple right now. Is it a shrine or a temple? It's a temple. We're going to a temple that's known for their lucky cat statues. We are at Godokuji Temple, also known as the Lucky Cat Temple. It's located on the outskirts of Tokyo, and this area is really quiet and peaceful. There are these wood slabs that have prayers or wishes written on them, and they're all really sweet. There are a lot of wishes for people's current cats or those that have passed away. I wish, I wish I could have a swimming pool. You can tell which ones are like newer and older because these ones have all that dust on them. It's pretty cool. I think people buy the cats and then they write stuff on them. Um, and then they leave them here. Not the IG handle. <laughs> it's kind of big. And now we're going to a sky tower in Shibuya so we can see the view of this area at night. It's the next morning and I feel like I haven't taken enough pictures so I'm going out on a solo walk to take some photos. Now we're going to an area known for vintage clothes called Shimo Kitazawa. There are outdoor vendors and a lot of small indoor shops as well. The shops have a lot of cool stuff, but I feel like it's kind of expensive. I spoke with a Japanese person and they told me that a lot of thrifted clothes is purchased in the US and then brought to Japan. Apparently the Rose Bowl flea market is a popular place for Japanese vintage sellers to find their clothes. So it makes sense why the clothes here is expensive because of import fees, travel, and the need to make a profit. You guys, my legs are a war zone. I have so many mosquito bites. Like, I probably have at least 10 on me. Like, oh my god, my legs look insane. I think I'm allergic to mosquitoes. We stopped inside a bookstore and I love Japanese magazines. I think magazines here are a lot more interesting and seem to be pretty popular. Um, I feel like the popular magazines in the US center around celebrity news, but the ones in Japan cover a variety of unique topics like film, coffee, architecture, vintage shops, and like interior design. <laughs> It's later in the day and we are having dinner at this place called Piss Alley. Yes, you heard me right. Um, it started off as an illegal drinking quarters in the 40s and because there were no restrooms, people would pee on the train tracks nearby. <laughs> it's my last full day in Japan. Um, Jaha's trimming his beard. <laughs> and we're gonna go to a plant store and a ceramic store probably. And I'm wearing Tyler's sunglasses right now because I lost mine. Chris is sick upstairs and he's like bedridden. So yeah, that sucks. But we're going home tomorrow. So we'll be back home and we get a safe view. I'm so excited for that. The first store we went to is AD Lab. I'm not gonna show too much footage from the plant shops because I already posted a video about them. So if you wanna see more, the plant shop tour is gonna be linked in the description. 
Obviously, I can't bring back any plants with me, but I did get a lot of ceramics, glassware, and plant-related things. One of my main goals in Japan was to get ceramics for my plants, and I'll show you guys a little haul in a future video when I get back home. There are so many cool shops in Tokyo for home goods and plants, and Jahao and I were saying that it was a good thing no one else came along with us because they would be so bored and so tired of us because we were taking our sweet time at every shop just checking things out and taking everything in and taking photos <laughs> Every night a live jazz band plays at this hotel and I love jazz music and live music so I really wanted to come here. The food is pricey but not outrageous. I like to think that you're paying for the views and ambiance. This ice cream was supposed to be for Chris's birthday but he's been sick for the entire last half of the trip so he's back at the Airbnb. We're going back home tomorrow though so that's good. But yeah, I think this is the prettiest building I've ever been in. It seriously felt like I was in a movie and not because they actually filmed a movie here, it's more about the lighting, architecture, and music. The view was also incredible. I really recommend coming here if you're in Tokyo. So. That wraps up my Japan videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you when I'm back home. Goodbye.